I'm Dr. Jennifer Morse, an obesity medicine physician. And I'm Sarah Krebs. I'm an exercise physiologist and a weight management expert. We have the pleasure of being part of MidMichigan Health's weight management team. Welcome and thanks so much for taking the time to learn more about our medical weight management program. If you are struggling with your growing waistline, you are not alone. You can't miss the headlines reporting that our nation is becoming heavier. These illustrations show the drastic changes over the past 20 years in the number of obese adults in this country. Seeming to be a reaction to this, quick fixes pop up all around us. Weight loss gimmicks, including diet plans, diet supplements, and weight loss books promise us the solution. But you first have to ask, how did we get to this point? Why does this map keep getting redder? The simple math is that if you eat more calories than you burn, you gain weight. If you continue to eat more calories on a regular basis, you will continue to gain weight. In reality, though, the reason isn't so simple. There is a complicated mix of hormones, genetics, and environmental factors contributing to weight gain. Regardless of how it happens, this extra weight can lead to an array of health problems. Some of you may be personally familiar with the more common problems caused by obesity, such as aching joints, shortness of breath, heart disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Obesity can actually contribute to many other health problems listed here. This list is quite overwhelming, but the fact is that obesity may not only shorten your life, but also decrease the quality of your life. Those of you that are watching this must already realize that losing weight will improve your life and are ready for those benefits. Ultimately, it comes down to figuring out how to get to weight maintenance. You now need to focus your efforts on developing a sustainable, healthy lifestyle that will allow you to get to a weight that you can maintain for the long run. No more quick fixes that won't last. How do you get there? It may seem simple on the surface. This equation explains it all, doesn't it? Many of you will first need to lose weight to get to the point you want to maintain. How do you do that? You must consume fewer calories than you burn, resulting in a calorie deficit and weight loss. All of your problems are solved now that you know how to lose weight, right? Isn't that what all the diets on TV, radio, internet, magazines, and books say? That it is that simple? If you can follow their diet for 10 days, you'll lose 10 pounds and be happy and healthy because you lost weight. It may seem simple, but it is definitely not easy. And once you lose weight, it is not the end of the answer. It is only the beginning. Weight management is not just a math equation. You cannot simply solve the problem by having a calorie deficit. If diets worked, there would only be one of them, and we would only have to follow it once. Why is it so hard? Getting to weight maintenance is a struggle for many reasons. There are many hurdles to making new healthy habits. You have busy schedules, work, stress, lack of motivation, frustrations, temptations, and events that revolve around food. The list is long and very complicated and unique to each of you. While it is a challenge to do the things that it takes to live a healthy life, isn't the time worth it? If you invest the time and effort, won't you feel better in the long run and have a longer life so that you can ultimately have more time to do the things you want to do? Of course, there are things that are out of your control, like genetics and family history. Thankfully, these things are only a piece of it, so take charge of the part of your health that you can control. While there are some hurdles that you cannot get over, there are even more that you can. Whether or not you choose to jump over them is up to you. Each person's individual hurdles are unique, so each person needs an individual plan to approach them. Once the weight is off and you are at a healthy weight, how do you stay at that weight? What you put into your body must equal the calories your body burns or you will gain weight. So as we said before, if it sounds this simple, why are so many people still struggling with long-term weight management? One of the biggest problems that leads to losing weight, then regaining weight, and then losing weight is the dreaded four-letter word, diet. Chances are most of you have been on a diet at one time or another, and chances are if you were, you were able to lose weight on that diet. But then when you stopped the diet, what happened? Did you maintain your weight or did something else happen? Chances are you may have regained the weight you lost and maybe even added a few pounds. This wonderful process is called yo-yo dieting. Very few people lose weight and keep it off the first time they try, 
So it leads to a vicious cycle of losing weight, gaining weight, losing and gaining. When a person gets stuck in this cycle, it can lead to a constant feeling of deprivation and failure because they are constantly looking at food and themselves as good or bad, right or wrong. Diets are everywhere. About a third of the country is on a diet at any one time, and 80% have dieted by the age of 14. As a country, we spend around $33 billion on weight loss products each year. Are diets working? We must figure out how we are going to measure success. If we are measuring success by whether or not people lose weight, then I suppose some of them are working. We see all sorts of people losing weight, but what about the rest of the story? How are people feeling in this process? Are they able to keep the pounds off? Yo-yo dieting, also referred to as weight cycling, is taking a definite psychological toll on people. Constant dieting and seeing food as good or bad can lead to binge eating and can perpetuate this cycle. What are you to do? You need to look at the real purpose of food. It is meant to be used for nutrition and fuel. If we are hungry, we are supposed to eat so that we can have energy. We need the calories that are in food so that we can live. Our bodies use the energy and calories to fuel all of our actions like walking, talking, breathing, reading, riding a bike. Everything we do takes energy and calories from food are energy. Somewhere along the line, you may have started using food for other reasons than nutrition. You should enjoy food and get pleasure from your food as well, but that should not be the main reason for eating and food should not be your biggest source of pleasure if you want to live a healthy lifestyle. You may have gotten into the habit of using food for emotional reasons. When you use food for emotional reasons, it becomes a difficult cycle to break because of the way food affects the brain. Foods rich in carbohydrates increase the brain's production of serotonin. Serotonin is one of the main chemicals our brain uses to communicate a normal mood and feeling of well-being. In fact, this is the chemical that most antidepressants increase in our brain. If you've ever been upset and craved carbohydrates, you were in a very real way self-medicating yourself. Unfortunately, this feel-good effect from carbohydrates is short-lived and is often followed by regret or other unpleasant feelings. Then you are right back where you started. Emotional eating is learned over time. This is good to know because with effort you can learn new habits and address the underlying emotions. Sometimes you just eat because the food is there and you put an overabundance of calories into your body without even realizing what you just ate. Sometimes you just do not listen to your body about what you need. If you are hungry but busy, you may not stop to eat, but then eventually become so hungry that you overeat. Sometimes you eat because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings when they offer you food or because you're bored, tired, or thirsty. You need to work at getting back to eating for nutrition and for energy and learn how to truly enjoy what you eat rather than eating it mindlessly. You need to figure out when you are eating for the wrong reasons and find how to deal with all the other stuff in a better way. We understand that there are many reasons why people struggle with their weight. It's not just about the number on the scale. It's about lifestyle and the small changes that impact you greatly over time. The entire lifestyle needs to be addressed, including nutrition, exercise, stress management, and your motivations. You need to figure out how you can feel good about the choices you are making every day. It is all about developing a long-term healthy lifestyle, not about going on another diet. We know that diets are a way to lose weight, but they are not the answer for long-term success. The answer for long-term success is weight management. Weight management is looking at each person's hurdles individually and trying to figure out what will work best for them to manage their weight. It is an ongoing process in which you will learn to look at the factors in your life at any given time and make healthy decisions that allow you to maintain a healthy weight. Diets have a starting point and an ending point, whereas successful weight management is a lifestyle. There is not an end to a healthy lifestyle. 
It just becomes what you do. We know that a healthy lifestyle is not easy, so we do not expect you to do it alone. We have a comprehensive medical weight management team that can help you plan and achieve your healthy lifestyle. Your team includes an obesity medicine physician, an exercise physiologist, a registered dietitian, and a behavioral specialist, and most importantly, you. You may have been led to believe that you should be able to follow a diet, lose weight, and keep it off. If you gain weight back, you may feel like you failed, but you did not fail the diet. The diet failed you. It simply did not give you the rest of the information you needed to be successful. You changed your habits for a short time and then went right back to your old unhealthy ways. Our weight management program can teach you maintenance skills, the things that are necessary for long-term success. We know you are able to make a healthy change and live a healthy life. You just may need a little help doing it. Sometimes we all need a bit of accountability. You need to have someone to ask you how you are doing. You need to feel comfortable telling them how you are really feeling. You also need to determine your reasons for wanting to make a change. We will help you find out who you are really changing for and how you got to where you are today. We will help you determine where you really want to be and work to get you there. You need to have something that is motivating you to make healthy decisions each day. Each person's reasons will be unique to them. It may be a combination of things like having more energy, setting a good example for your children, or reducing a medication. We will help you determine what those motivations are so that you will be inspired each day to make the best choices that you can. As you are working towards making healthy changes, you will have to keep in mind that change is hard. This means that there will be bumps along the way. There is no perfect path to a healthy lifestyle, but there are ways of coping with this change if you are ready. Positive thinking, being open to new ideas, and setting goals can help. Understand that unhealthy habits did not develop overnight, so you cannot expect them to be fixed overnight. If you are willing to take the time and effort, you can experience many of these positive benefits of a healthy lifestyle. We have four different plans in our medical weight management program. Quick Start, Foundations, Physician Guided, and Transitions. I will now turn it over to our exercise physiologist and weight management expert, Sarah Krebs, who will describe our plans to you. All of the plans have some, if not all, of these components. You will have access to our weight management team, which consists of the obesity medicine physician, exercise physiologists, registered dietitians, behavioral specialists, and many support staff members. Along with individual meetings with our team of specialists, you will also have access to a support group as well. We will provide individualized meal plans for weight loss and for weight maintenance and the education and support you need to develop your healthy lifestyle. Healthy Lifestyles Quick Start is the most aggressive weight loss option. You can lose up to three to five pounds per week on this plan. If you are interested in this plan, you'll have an office visit with our physician prior to starting your program to ensure that you meet the qualifications. On this plan, you will also need to have periodic lab work and physician visits because you will be following a very low calorie meal plan. You will have five visits with the exercise physiologist, five visits with the registered dietitian, and one visit with the behavioral specialist spread over a four month period. After you are cleared by the doctor to start the quick start plan, you will be started on a very low calorie meal plan of 600 to 800 calories a day. You will be eating a combination of high protein meal replacements and low carbohydrate vegetables. During this phase of your plan, you will be in ketosis, which means your body will be using fat stores as energy. You will have a minimum of one month of transition back to regular foods on this plan. Throughout your program, you will be working with the weight management team to learn healthy lifestyle skills that are essential for your long-term maintenance. Here are a few examples of your meal and snack options while on the very low calorie meal plan in the quick start plan. There are prepackaged low calorie high protein bars, shakes, meals, and snack items. Healthy Lifestyles Foundations is a plan that is ideal for weight loss or weight maintenance. On this plan, you have the option of seeing the obesity medicine physician prior to beginning your program or at any time during the program, but it is not required. 
If you do not see her prior to starting, she will still review your medical history before you begin your plan and you will be notified of any concerns. You will meet with an exercise physiologist five times, a registered dietitian five times, and a behavioral specialist once over the four month time span. There are three different meal plan options in the foundations plan. The maintenance meal plan is actually the goal for everyone at some point during their program. You can start on this plan if you are already at an ideal weight but are gaining or want to develop healthier habits. This is a plan that will help you to maintain your weight and is based on the diabetic exchange plan of eating. You will be buying your food at the grocery store but have the option of purchasing high protein supplements for snacks. The low calorie meal plan is a weight loss meal plan. This plan, like the maintenance plan, is built around the exchange system. Average weight loss experienced on this plan is 1 to 2 pounds per week. You will be buying your food at the grocery store and have the option of purchasing high protein supplements for snacks. The partial meal replacement plan is also a weight loss meal plan. It uses a combination of grocery store food and high protein supplements. Average weight loss on the partial meal replacement plan is about 2 to 3 pounds per week. This is the middle of the road plan. It is a great way to get structure in your meal plan, but also provides you with a variety of food choices. Both the quick start and foundations are four months in length. However, it will most likely take longer than four months to get your new healthy lifestyle in place so you feel confident about your decisions. Because we know that support is critical while you are making these changes, we offer the transitions plan so you can continue on your program. Although a transition program is not required, it does greatly increase your chance of long-term success. It has been proven that people have the best weight loss success if they continue for at least a year in an organized program such as this. Once you successfully complete either Quick Start or Foundations, you are eligible to come back to transitions at any time. We also offer a physician guided plan. This plan consists of one-on-one -on -one visits with our obesity medicine physician. You will start your plan with a new patient medical assessment and will have at least seven follow-up appointments with the physician. She will provide you with a chapter to our Healthy Lifestyles workbook at each of your appointments and will assist you in meeting your weight management goals through a review of your past medical history and current personal goals. Between visits, you will work through the materials given to you in your chapter. By doing so, you will gradually be learning and practicing a healthy lifestyle. You may also be referred to the dietitian, exercise physiologist, or behavioral specialist as needed. Depending on which program you enter, your potential for weight loss can vary greatly. On the Quick Start plan, you could lose up to 100 pounds in about four months. You could enter in the Foundations or the Physician Guided plan and lose weight or just work on maintaining your weight. It all depends on what your goals, motivations, and time investment are. So, how do you get started with your new healthy lifestyle? Congratulations! You have just completed your first step by watching this video. If you know you would like to get started, your next step is to fill out a new patient packet and get your appointment scheduled. Contact us toll-free at 855-296-7252 for a new patient packet, complete it, and return it to our office. Once we have received your paperwork, we can schedule your first appointment and get you started in your new healthy lifestyle. Before we see you in the office, here are a few healthy tips to get started. If you have any questions not answered by this video, please call our office toll free at 855 296 7252.